Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Native Mobile Bits. In the last video of our Jetpack Compose series, we have learned about Surface Composable. In our previous video, we have created this main screen composable. Inside this, we have used the Surface Composable and then we were trying to put two text composable inside the surface but both of these texts was overlapping each other which made it very clear that inside our surface composable we can only put one children directly more than one children we cannot put directly inside our surface composable otherwise it will be causing this overlapping issue and we was having this question how we can use multiple children inside our surface composable so answer is very simple inside jetpack compose we have three things we have three inbuilt composable which is called column row and box and using these we can put our multiple children composable in any specific orientation these three column row and box exactly behave like linear layout with orientation orientation vertical and horizontal and this box behave like frame layout so if you are not aware of those things no need to worry we will cover all of these things one by one so let's start with column so for example suppose we have one empty space like this and then we want to put some children inside this in a vertical fashion like this is our first children then another children and then we want to put another children in a vertical fashion inside one empty space then we can use a composable called column column behave exactly like linear layout with vertical orientation here we have these three children from top to bottom we are putting all of these in a vertical fashion so to do something like this where we want to arrange our children vertically we can use column composable this is our inbuilt composable from jetpack compose library and let's take one another example where we have one empty space and inside this empty space we want to put some composable in a horizontal way for example we have this as our first children then another children in the horizontal direction and the another one so all of these three children composables are inside horizontal directions so we can use inbuilt composable called row for these kind of scenarios so inside row we can put our children in a horizontal way so this way row behave exactly like linear layout with horizontal direction where all the children inside a row composable will be following the horizontal left to right direction and last but not the least is inbuilt box composable and in that we put one composable on top of another one so for example let's say we have an empty space and we want to put one children composable on top of another one like this we have one composable then on top of this we want to put another one and then on top of this green composable we want to put one another one like this so we can use box composable this is exactly like frame layout where we want to put one children on top of another one inside our layout now let's cover all of these inbuilt composable inside our examples so let's start with our inbuilt row composable so for now our text composables are overlapping each other and we are already familiar that if we will use row composable then it will put our child composable in a horizontal orientation so let's do that we can put our row composable here and we know that surface composable can take directly one children so inside this we can put our row composable and then we can take both of our text composable and we can put inside our row composable here so let's refresh this and let's see how our UI looks like okay so our preview has been updated and we can see that our both of our text composables are in a horizontal orientation that's because row composables put all of the children composable inside a horizontal orientation and if we go inside the declaration of our row composable we can also pass modifiers we can pass some arrangement and alignment we will cover this concept shortly and then we can also pass a content composables that's why we can pass multiple children here inside our row composable now let's try to cover one another example using row composable let's delete these welcome text for now and let's define some surface here surface composable and inside this we can define some color 
to identify and let's say let's define color dot blue okay and let's define some height and width custom height and width so we can define modifier dot height maybe 400 dp and let's define some width as well maybe 40 dp okay now let's refresh our preview and let's see how our ui looks like now okay so we can see that we have one blue color bar this is coming out of this surface now let's use this surface composable code and let's add another surface composable with different color maybe red and let's again paste another surface with different color green okay so now our main screen composable has this row composable and inside our row composable we have these three different surface with some custom height and width 400 dp here and then we have different different color assigned to each of the surface so let's refresh our preview okay so we can notice that all of these surface composable with different colors are coming inside the horizontal orientation so we have this row composable and inside our row composable we have three different surface composable which is coming as expected in horizontal orientation but problem here is we have so much code we have three different surface composable which are having duplicate code only the color is different right so whenever we are using any composable more than once we can extract that composable and to extract any composable we just need to use this annotation called composable and then we need to define one function and as this is kind of a horizontal bar we can name it horizontal bar and inside this we can take this surface composable code and put inside our horizontal bar composable and then we can replace these surface composable with horizontal bar we can delete these two as well and we can use horizontal bar like this so now if we try to refresh our preview we will see that all of these three different horizontal bars are coming in blue color because this horizontal bar composable is taking blue as the color for this surface so how we can take the different different colors we can pass some parameter here inside our horizontal bar composable we can pass the color so we have added color as the parameter and we can use this color here inside our surface composable like this okay so now we need to pass one parameter for color value in all of these horizontal bar composable okay now we need to pass the value for this color parameter inside our horizontal bar composable so we can use this named parameter color and then we can pass any color here using this color dot we can pass maybe yellow then we can again use this named parameter and we can pass another color maybe red we can also pass color directly without using named parameters like color dot maybe green like this and now we can refresh the preview so our preview has been updated and we can see that now all of these horizontal bars are having the colors which we passed from here so this way we can extract any composable and then we can pass the value if we want to pass any value to that composable with the help of these parameters like this we can also modify this little bit we can use the fill max height here and now it will take up the entire screen like this so this way row composable works we can add as many children we want inside our row composable we can again add one another bar if we need we can pass maybe blue color this time like this and we can update our preview so this way our row composable works it takes all the children and arrange those children in the horizontal orientation like this so now that we know how we can use row composable let's go to the declaration of this once again 
so here we can pass modifiers here we can also pass some arrangement and alignment so if we check the declaration here this horizontal arrangement is used to arrange the layouts children horizontally and then we can also use some alignment to adjust the position vertically so let's try to add some arrangement and alignment inside our row composable here so here first of all let's pass one modifier we can pass using this named param and we can pass this modifier dot fill max size we can pass this for now and now we can add one horizontal arrangement here so basically this arrangement whatever we will specify here will adjust our children accordingly so we can use this arrangement and then we have these multiple options center and and start so if you want to put in the end we can use this arrangement dot end and then let's refresh our preview so we can see that all of the children's are adjusted to the end of our screen and if you want to put all of our children in center so we can use this arrangement dot center and then row will arrange all of its children in the center like this we can see all of the children's are in the center now of course we have arrangement dot start like this it will put in the starting only but we also have some beautiful arrangement which is this space around space between and space evenly so let's use this space around for now and let's refresh our preview so we can see that there is some space around all of these children so space around basically put some space on the left and right side of the horizontal bar and that's why in between of two bar the space is more because here this yellow horizontal bar is also having right side space and then this red horizontal bar is also having left side space so that's why this space around is putting more space in between and now if we want to use equal space we can use this space evenly so this will put equal space in each direction of all of our horizontal bar and we also have one thing space between so if we just want to put a space in between and don't want to put in this left side and right side so we can use a space between let's refresh the preview we can see now a space is only between these horizontal bar so that's how this arrangement works we can also use some vertical alignment and to do that first let's reduce the height of this horizontal bars let's give some custom height here maybe 500 dp okay and let's refresh this okay now to align our row vertically we can use this vertical alignment and here we can pass three thing top bottom or center vertically so let's use bottom for now and let's refresh our preview so our row will be aligned at the bottom like this and if we want to use the center part so we can use this center vertically and then refresh our preview so it will adjust our row children in the center like this and same time we can also use any other thing like space evenly in this and we can refresh our preview so it will look like this isn't it looking beautiful so this way we can modify our row and we can arrange our children beautifully with the help of this horizontal arrangement and vertical alignment so always remember row always arrange the children in a horizontal way that was today's video and in this video we learned how we can use row composable inside jetpack compose and in this video we learned how we can put multiple composable inside horizontal orientation in the next video we will learn the upcoming concept about columns and row alignment and much more so stay tuned for the next videos i hope i shared something valuable with you in this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video thank you